Hi guys, and welcome back to video two of our After Effects Basics course. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to work with layers in After Effects. So let's get into it. So now we're gonna take a look at how to work with layers. First of all, what is a layer? Well, you can think of a layer as this box right here. On the timeline in After Effects, each layer can only be occupied by one individual piece of media. So if we try to bring another clip down and place it beside this other one, we can only place it down either below or above it, but not beside it. And you can also tell by what's happened here that After Effects prioritizes seeing clips that are on top rather than the ones underneath. It's like it's looking from the top down. But why is After Effects set up this way? Well, it's primarily because After Effects is designed to work with creating an individual scene as opposed to an entire video onto itself. So the idea is that most of the time, whatever you're working with in each After Effects composition is coming together to create one unified result. If you want to move a layer up or down in After Effects, just click and grab it on the left side here and then drag up or down to the position that you want. When you release it, it will end up in that new position. If you grab the end of the clip and drag it, it'll either lengthen or shorten. So if we want to reduce the length of this clip, we just click the end here and drag it backwards. Similarly, you can bring clips forwards and backwards in time by clicking and holding the clip somewhere in the middle and then moving it left or right. If you've used Premiere Pro before, this should be somewhat familiar. And you can see that when a layer comes to an end, it disappears and the layer beneath it is the new one that appears. Technically, this layer is still taking priority, but there's just nothing there to show, so the result is that we move to seeing the next layer. So that's pretty basic, but over here on the left hand side, there's a few things that might seem a little bit different. Beside our layer here, we have a series of buttons, and we're going to look quickly and explore what each of them do to help you use layers better. Over here on the far left, you should see a little eye symbol. This symbol shows that the layer is visible, and if we click it so that it disappears, our layer will become invisible as well. This is really helpful for seeing what's underneath a layer without deleting it. Next, we can see a little audio icon. This just lets us know that our layer has audio attached to it and that it's audible. Clicking this will mute the layer, which you may find in After Effects is really helpful a lot of the time. Next, we have this little box here, which doesn't have anything in it, but we can see that the legend up here says that it has a little dot. What this is is our option for soloing our layer. If you have a variety of other layers that are contributing to the final result of the video, but you just want to see what this one individual layer is doing, hitting the solo button will allow you to see what only this layer is doing and everything else will disappear. And finally, we have our locking icon. This allows you to lock your layer so that you can't make any changes to it. You can see that when we click it, it just flashes and doesn't really let us do anything with it. And even if we go into some details of the layer to try and make changes, we're not allowed to. This is great for any layers that you have that you just want to keep safe from accidentally making any adjustments to. Great! It's important to remember that the more video layers you end up working with, the more complicated things will get and the more useful these tools will end up becoming. Another really helpful organization tool is just to simply name your layers. You'll notice that each of your layers are named specific things, but depending on whether or not you've named things before importing, it might be a little bit confusing. Renaming it can really help you to know at a glance where everything is. So I'm going to quickly rename this layer by right clicking it and selecting rename. Now you can type in the name that you want this layer to have. And lastly, let's take a look at what's called pre-composing. So right now you have an After Effects project with a composition that you're working on inside of it. But did you know that you can have multiple compositions within a composition? It might seem like a lot, but it's a very basic principle that gets used quite a lot inside of After Effects. So let me just open up another example here. We have a few layers here that are each contributing to our final image. And I want to group two of these layers together. This is what's called pre-composing. And if you're familiar with Premiere at all, then this process is essentially the same thing as nesting, but with a lot more flexibility. To group two or more layers by pre-composing, highlight the ones that you want to group together by holding shift to keep your selection and then clicking multiple clips. Then right click any of these selected clips and then choose pre-compose. From here, you can name your pre-comp whatever you want to. From here, when we click okay, we can see that our layers have been merged together to create a single layer. Not only that, but we can also dive into this pre-comp layer deeper by double-clicking it. 
Now we can see all of the layers within this separate composition on its own timeline. It's a timeline within a timeline. And if we want to go back to our main timeline, we can do that by clicking the tab button. If you ever get confused, hitting the tab button will bring up this little flowchart which shows your project compositions and how they connect to each other. This is showing us that our main composition is the one over here to the far left. And within this composition is another composition, which is this one here. As you start to get more compositions within more compositions, this chart will really be helpful. But for right now, let's just go back to our main composition by bringing up our flowchart with tab and then clicking on this main composition. Now we're back and we can continue editing our project. One of the ways that we're gonna go over next is by accessing the options within our layers themselves. If we look here, we can see that there's this little triangle and when we press it, there's an entirely new set of options available for us to start working with. And we're gonna take a look at how to work with each of these properties in the next video. And guys, that's just been a brief overview of how to use layers within After Effects. Throughout the rest of this After Effects course, we're gonna be suggesting videos that we've already created to help you go deeper into each individual topic. What we would suggest doing is finding these links in the description below, opening them up in a separate tab, and then coming back to them after you've finished this entire course. Like for example, if you wanted to go into more detail about layers, check out this video that we have detailing about how to use layers and pre-comps better. But in our next video, we're gonna be taking a look at making basic changes to our layers. We're gonna be looking at transforming and animation. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.